Um, glee, 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 glee. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on this little gem. I didn't know these even existed, to be honest. I just found this the other day in our uh, big box of cars that's labeled cool cars. And this is a 2005 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. So check this out. I didn't even know they continued doing the Lightning after 1998, you know, the rounded Ford body style. So I was uh, very surprised to see this and it's a pretty cool little model. Let's go some side exit exhaust, roll pan, SVT tonneau cover. So today I wanted to, uh, I wanted to clean this up a little bit. It's a cool truck. I don't want to mod it out or do anything too crazy. I did make a decal package for this thing to clean up all of this stuff. And we're going to improve all the detail in the headlights and the grill and the fog lights and everything like that. Paint in all these details and probably put some rims on this thing. So today we are going to clean up this lightning. Glig, 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 glig. Check this out. So I did a basic detail kind of kit. So I made headlights, nice little grill. I got like the SVT tail lights and I even got little fog light details. And a new tonneau cover. Mm hmm So, we're gonna be able to redo this thing and get her looking all sharp again. I can't wait to paint this side exit. Plip, plip, plip. Anywho, let's get this thing stripped and uh, yeah, let's get going. Oh, yeah, if you're a Jimmy fans, I moved his little trailer closer. I kind of forgot about that, to be honest. Yeah, I had him just out of the frame back by the rally car there. Also, I adjusted all my lighting. So everything's kind of got a new look to it now. This is like what I see. There was a bunch of people that were complaining that this thing looked like it was skin tone. And um, it really doesn't. What you're seeing is basically what I see. And I see a pimp Cadillac. Anyway, I think it looks a lot better now. So let us, let us give this the jar treatment here. Now you see everything I see. At all kinds of time. Let's have a look at this thing. I'm sure it's ready. This is going to be a cool model. I don't think these are as... Uh, personally, I think the 98 Lightnings look better. But... Um, I don't know anything about the technology, about these trucks. These things could have had way better engines or something. I, I really don't know, but to me, an F-150 Lightning is always that 1998 body style. Beauty. I'm going to go hit this with a brass brush and some hot soapy water, and I will be right back. So just before I go paint this white, I just wanted to do a quick double check, make sure all the flashing is good, which it is for the most part. Except for that chunk. Definitely a nice detailed model for any um, F-150 fans. For sure. All right. So I'm going to go paint this white and I'm going to do just a basic kind of metallic coat on it. Just some basic sparkles. We'll keep this kind of factory. Boy, that's some nice looking metallic white, I gotta say. So I'm gonna make a couple axle tubes here. These axles are a little bit too wide for this body, so I'm gonna have to cut them and to, to reattach them. We need an axle tube. Oh. 
You know, it's not bad. <clears throat> it's not bad. It's not a low rider by any means. But it's got a nice drivable height, and I'm feeling that. I think that's going to work real nice just where it is. I'm going to go ahead and glue these in place. And then this, I'll just put on the old rack here. And we'll get ready to do some details. Allow me to use some Starbond medium thick tinted black for my pleasure. All right, we're all glued up here. So there's a lot of details here we can paint. The first one I'm gonna try to do is this surround. I think that one's important. Get the mirror and everything in there. All right, so I got one side done. You can see these couple of these little vinyl strips over here. That's what I use to get real tight. So I'm gonna do the exact same treatment on the other side. See what I mean about these little vinyl strips? If you're familiar with how they make, uh, how they tape out flame jobs on cars, they use vinyl tape, which is very similar to what this is. This is just vinyl that my buddy cut out. You see it's got all these uh, all these pre-made strips. And this was made on those like Cricut printers. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, that stuff you can just bend around corners. So it's real, real nice. So yeah, so I think I'm okay to go do this. I'm just gonna put on a little bit more masking to cover the front and back. All right, I got this one door all masked off. I'm gonna go give this a spray and try it out. BRB. All right, that looks good. Let's see what the damage is like. When I do little details like this, I try to use more air and do a real dry coat, if that makes sense. That way you don't have any running below your tape. It's not perfect, but I think I'm gonna be able to clean that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and mask the other side as well. All right, that's looking good. I wanna save the decals for last. I wanna make sure I get all this painting out of the way. That way I don't ruin any decals. So maybe we'll do these little exhaust ports now. Our exhaust ports have been isolated. Click, 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 click. This is looking pretty decent so far. I was thinking maybe now we'll try to do a couple of decals since I got the hard painting out of the way. Yeah, it's a shame that they don't spend a little bit more time detailing them up because you could tell, you know, there's it's a really nice looking truck underneath all that paint they put on. I had no idea the grill was this detailed because they just blurted a bunch of black in there and then they have an off-centered Ford logo. It's depressing, man. I'm gonna do this big one first. Boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. One SVT Lightning to no cover. Coming right up. Pam. <laughs> I should have made them bigger. Back to the drawing board on that one. All right, check these out. Hot off the press. Oh, that's a bad one. I got bigger headlights, bigger grill, and I printed this lower grill. I can just carve out. These ones I'm going to put on with a little bit of Microsol. Oh, beautiful man, it looks like a real tail light. <laughs> That's crazy. Gonna have to start doing this with all our Hot Wheels. All our projects need real tail lights and headlights. <laughs> Hell yeah, this thing's looking like a green light. It's looking better than a green light actually. So any of these decals that you see me use on the show, I plan on making available to you guys. I'm going to just have them all on a website where you guys can download them for free. I won't be taking any requests to make decals, but if you see it on the show, it's going to be available. Man, this is looking great, I gotta tell you. Right, we got quite the little mess here, but our little truck is looking pretty 
F-150-ish. So that's it for decals. Um, I'm going to do a couple more little touch-ups around these fog lights and stuff with a black fine-tipped marker just to kind of fill in some of the gaps. I might even squeak a little bit in these uh, side vents here just for some color. Then I'm going to let it dry real good and I'm going to clear coat. How about that? All right, our truck buddy's back from paint. I'm just getting all our pieces together to do an assembly here. Man, this is a beautiful looking little truck. Man, these matchbox rims have never looked so good. Let's get this up on the rotisserie. There we go, there's our lightning. I think it looks pretty sharp. I've learned some stuff about making decals like this. Uh, I know now to make them oversized. So the next one should be even better. Leave a like if you enjoyed this project. I'm not sure what's coming up next. I'll surprise you with something, uh, but uh, I'll see you Wednesday. Take care. See you later. Buy some Starbond glue. Thank you. Bye.